Ever wondered why interpreting line graphs in IELTS writing can be so challenging? It's a common question that plagues many, so let's dive right in and shed some light on the matter. First, understanding the context of the graph can be a labyrinth of confusion. It's not just about numbers and lines, it's about the story they're telling. And each line graph has its unique tale to narrate. Then, there's the task of identifying key trends, spotting the subtle shifts, the sharp spikes, the slow climbs and the rapid falls, is like reading a language of its own. It's a skill that takes time and practice to master. Finally, presenting data accurately and coherently is another mountain to climb. You must translate the complex visual information into clear, precise language, all while maintaining a logical flow. Overcoming these challenges is crucial to scoring high in IELTS writing. After all, it's about showing that you can understand, analyze and effectively communicate complex data. Now that we know the challenges, it's time to conquer them. Interpreting line graphs doesn't have to be a daunting task. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you. Step 1 is understanding the context. Before jumping into data analysis, take a moment to understand what the graph represents. Is it showcasing a trend over time, a comparison between different groups, or a change in quantity. For instance, if a line graph shows the population growth of a city over two decades, you're looking at a trend over time. Step two is identifying key trends. Once you've grasped the context, start looking for patterns or trends. These could be a consistent increase or decrease, sudden spikes or drops, or periods of stability. In our example, let's say the population of the city consistently increased over the 20-year period, but there was a sudden drop in the 10th year. That's a key trend. Moving on to step three, organizing data. This involves grouping similar data points or trends together. For our example, you might group the years when the population increased steadily and then group the year when there was a sudden drop. Organizing data helps you to present your findings in a more coherent and logical manner. Finally, step four is presenting your interpretation coherently. This is where you combine all your findings and present them in a clear, concise manner. For instance, you could say, over the past two decades, the city's population has generally been on the rise, with a notable exception in the 10th year when there was a significant drop. However, the population growth resumed and continued its upward trend thereafter. Remember, the key to interpreting line graphs effectively is to understand the context, identify key trends, organize your data, and present it coherently. Each step builds on the previous one, ensuring that your interpretation is thorough and well-founded. With these steps, interpreting line graphs becomes a breeze. To wrap up, let's revisit the main points we've discussed today. We started by understanding the challenges that come with interpreting line graphs, it can seem daunting at first, but with patience and practice, you can master it. We then dove into a step-by-step -step guide to help navigate these challenges. We began with reading the title carefully, followed by understanding the units of measurement. Then, we stressed the importance of noting down key changes and trends in the graph. We also discussed the need to compare and contrast these changes to give a comprehensive analysis. The crux of our discussion, however, was the emphasis on accuracy and coherence when presenting data. Remember, it's not just about stating the facts, but also about presenting them in a clear, concise, and coherent manner. Vocabulary plays a key role here. Using precise and varied language can make your interpretations stand out. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep practicing these steps and you'll be a pro at interpreting line graphs in no time.